Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to be watching Save It Private Ryan. And if you guys already know me and have stuck around for a little while, you would know I do not read into any sort of descriptions or anything to do with the film or series prior to going into anything. And this title, let me just zoom in to the title itself because it's already given me goosebumps. The word saving, that's already given me goosebumps because right now I just feel like there's going to be a lot of sad moments just because of the word saving. And I could be completely wrong, but I don't know. I've seen various comments asking me to watch this film and finally it has come into a poll on Patreon and I think it's about time I give this film a watch because not only has it been requested on Patreon, I've also seen several comments and I don't know if that's because people like seeing me cry, which is very upsetting. No, I'm joking. But this film has already given me shivers, I'm not cold, again, I've got the heating on, I am wasting my coin to have this heating on, so I full well know I am not cold right now, but this film already is giving me shivers. I feel like I'm going to have goosebumps for the next 2 hours and 50 minutes, however, I feel like I have somewhat of a personal connection to this film already because I was born in 1998 and this is when that film come out was released therefore I feel like I've got some sort of feeling towards it already but I have absolutely no idea so without further ado I'm just gonna get straight into watching Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. Wow this title is precious already. Why do I feel like I'm going to cry? My heart is racing right now. <sighs> oh no, don't cry. Man. We're not even somewhat into the film right now and I'm bloody tearing up. <sighs> deep breaths, Lana, deep breaths. It's okay, it's going to be okay. You'll be fine. June 6, 1944. Oh, he's shaking! Why am I feeling so nervous, man? I am not quite ready for this. Oh. Oh, oh man, I'm getting worried now. <gasps> oh! What? <laughs> What the? I don't like this, I don't like this. Mm. Oh, fuck. This is heartbreaking to watch. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's so heartbreaking. <laughs> Imagine each and every one of these have families, and you just don't know when the time's gonna come. You recognize where we are? Where we were supposed to be, but no one else is! It's your party! It's your party! Oh my gosh. I don't even have a chance. One little move, and they're all in danger. Staying in the same place, they're in danger. It's just. I'm never even gonna stop. Keep it moving. Oh no, what the hell? Oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh, my A little bit of movement stresses me out right now. Covering fire! Oh, 
we're going, just go with this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Every time they take foot, mm -mm. All my strength. Hey, stay to help me. Oh wow. This is a very intense intro. I feel like it's all gonna jump out of nowhere. to begin with, I was not expecting that. Or the families having to hear about it. Heartbreaking. Ryan? Ryan? Dear Mr. Brian Boyd, no doubt by now you have received full information Dear Mr. about the untimely death of your son. He was a fine soldier and he believed very strongly in what it's no secret anymore. Everyone just was seeing with the lepers. I was the one who held us all together. Colonel, I've got something you should know about. Yes. These two men died in Normandy. The three men are brothers, sir. I've just learned that this afternoon their mother's going to be getting all three telegrams. That's not all. There's a fourth brother, the youngest. He parachuted in with the 101st Airborne night before the invasion. He's somewhere in Normandy. We don't know where. Is he alive? We don't know. Well, we... It's gonna get real intense. It's going to be so hard to watch. All four of them were in the same company in the 29th Division, but we split them up after the Sullivan brothers died on the Juno. Now, assuming Private Ryan even survived the jump, he could be anywhere. In fact, he's probably KIA. The boy's alive. We are going to send somebody to find him. Yes, please do. It was a tough assignment. That's why you got it. I've got another one for you. I'm looking for Corporal Upham yes, sir. Timothy E. I'm Upham, sir. I understand you speak French and German? Yes, sir. How's yeah. your accent? Uh, it's just a slight one in French, but my German's clean, has a touch of the Bavarian, sir. Very good. You've been reassigned to me. Grab yes, your gear. I'm going to a place called Newville. Can I bring my typewriter, sir? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm ready for what this film is about to bring. I genuinely just do not feel like I'm mentally prepared for this. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm glad the sheep are. <laughs> one way to lighten the blow, eh? <laughs> oh, look at the little baby one. Hey, hey, want your head blown off, you fancy little fuck? Dude, come on. You're trying to make conversation over here. You want to explain the math of this to me? I mean, where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? Let's say you weren't a captain, or maybe I was a major. I feel heartfelt sorrow for the mother of Private James Ryan. I'm willing to lay down my life and the lives of my men, especially you, Ryan, to ease her suffering. Now that's the answer. Need more people like him, eh? Gosh, I'm not ready. Gunfire, explosions, I hear it all, I'm not ready for it. And the weather, of course, has to just amplify everything that a little bit more. Thunder! What? How many are you? Just eight of us, we're not your relief. Huh. James Ryan, he dropped in with the 101st. Man, where is James Ryan at? I feel on edge right now, literally the edge of my seat, clenching. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm glad to see the priorities right there, you know. Have you only just clocked on what's going on? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm in a mission right now, bro. Short runs. High and low with the corners. It's gonna be tight. Be prepared for close contact. Close contact. I don't like the sound of that right now. Do it. Thunder! No, I'm scared. Thunder, I'm scared. We will fire on you. Oh. Any little bit of movement. Oh. 
Even those little gaps. I'm not trusting them right now. Kids! You want us to take the children? No, 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 we can't take the kids. Oh my gosh, not the kids. The kids. Oh my gosh, something's gonna happen, something's gonna happen. Oh. oh fuck. Imagine just seeing all of this when you're younger. I just wanted to do what I thought was right. Guys, come over here. Copy, put your head down. Put your head down. Copy it. It's, it's to my desk. It's got blood on it. Gosh, right in the eye. We got him. Stay down. <laughs> he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. That was only seven. Check the tower, hustle back here. Right now, go! Fuck on it. It's hard to swallow, but I'm sure it will be for the right reasons. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, all these voices are literally like in these headphones. <sighs> How that one little thing turned into that massive situation. Wow. Fred Hamill, Pathfinders, 101st. John Miller, Second Rangers. We're here looking for a private James Ryan. He's part of your outfit. Any chance at all you policed him up? Ryan! Ryan! Front and center! Ryan! Told you he was an asshole. Private, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. All his brothers. I'm gonna cry for here again. Your brothers are dead. We have uh, orders to come get you. Because you're going home. <laughs> and I knew I was going to cry. <laughs> oh my god, my brothers are dead. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture when we go home. How you have how, plans. How did they die? We'll kill the action. <sighs> to the outside. <laughs> I can't be. I can't be. My brother's still in grammar school. James Francis Ryan, Mile. James Frederick Ryan, Minnesota. Are you sure that <sighs> they're okay, though? I... We're looking for a different private Ryan. This oh, is just a big wow. thing. After all that, man, let me cry again. I'm sure as hell could use you around here, but I understand what you're doing. Find them. Get them home. It's a very good gesture. I'm just hoping they find the right Ryan and they're able to send him home. Oh, is he rewriting it? When you end up killing one of your men, you see, you tell your it happened. So you could save the lives of two or three or ten others. So you rationalize making the choice between the mission and the men. Except this time the mission is man. Mission is man. This Ryan better be worth it. I'm sure he's worth every single second. He'd better go home. The truth is I wouldn't trade ten Ryans for one Vecchi or one Caparzo. Amen. Man, I genuinely don't think I'm ready. Get some sleep, Corey. Something about this, this guy, can't quite put my finger on it. It's 
it's daylight now and it seems so peaceful but I just I can't sit still this film's really still giving me <sighs> shivers we're looking for a private James Ryan he's in Baker company the 506 and the 101st no you got me sir if only they just had a tannoy to be like Ryan come out <laughs> just keep looking right. I'm really gonna be on edge until they find this guy now stand by it some bitch don't mix them up, Jackson, all right? Keep them in your own fucking pile. How am I supposed to know who we got? That's true. That's very annoying. Imagine just checking it and then just chucking it into the same pile again. Just gonna end up going through it all again. Gosh, any one of these can be him. Oh my god, you're playing just step forward right now. I don't think you understand how much this is stressing me out right now. Just not knowing. It's the unknown that stresses me out, and this is pretty much the unknown right now. I'm Ryan, Private James Ryan from Iowa. Anybody know a Ryan? We should all be doing this. Doesn't uh, Mandelson pal around with Orion from C Company? Goosebumps have entered the chat. You know Private Ryan? Francis Ryan. No, no, no. James Francis Ryan. Oh. All right, give me a pencil. Something to write on. Something to write. Read the message. Look. I'm just gonna say yes, gonna say yes. Yeah, of course I know him, sir. Does he know where he is? Please tell me he does. Yeah, yeah, we missed our drop zone by about 20 miles. Ramel. Might just be getting that one step closer. How far already is it? Let's go. We've got this, guys, come on. I have full faith in you right now. I've also got goosebumps trickling up my body. <laughs> Man, oh. Imagine this guy, this Ryan, has no idea that these guys are even looking for him, so he's just doing what he's doing with no clue in the world right now. But I'm honestly gonna be so heartbroken. Heartbroken? I'm gonna be honestly so heartbroken when they tell him the news. Just have to relive that trauma myself again. So. I just, uh, I don't have a good feeling about this one. When was the last time you felt good about anything? It's hard for them to just go by and go ahead with his task, knowing what happens to the other guy. And them not knowing even who this Ryan guy even is. Don't know if he's already passed or not, it's just... Who's going left? Um, Who's going left? Who's going left? Come on! You know. I'll go left. All right. Maybe I should go up the middle, sir. The way you run, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe I should go left, sir. Maybe you should shut up. Oh. Tough one, Swallow. Not happy, Bunny. Oh my gosh. I know what's gonna happen. I still bloody drunk. I feel like there's something different about this guy. Imagine if he's Ryan the whole time. That would be a bloody twist.